one that might be a little too loud. That might be okay. <sighs> All right. Let's go. They're going in. They're going in. They're going in. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Sorry. A little late. Uh, a little late tonight, fellas. Uh, bear with me just a minute while we get set up. We're watching SS22 right now. This is EIS OG versus VVVSK, uh, and we'll go over some of the delights here in a bit. But welcome, welcome, welcome. We just have to get some some promos out as per usual. Everyone usually knows the drill. The drizzle. But yeah, man, some good stuff. Yeah, we're gonna try to check out TM. Uh sorry, TMTA GG as well. Uh again, I'm I'm sure there is consistent action going on over at uh, SS23 with TFS Noir uh and their group. I have no doubt. I have no doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. Yeah, also doing... I think we're doing like an average thing today too as well. Or uh, not average, but the... What was it? Um, what was I trying to say? With the... Uh, Oh, you know, uh, oh, yeah, I'm testing out like this. I guess it's the normal feedback. It's not like the ultra one. So, seeing if maybe the quality might be a little bit better. We'll see. How that, uh, how that one plays out. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, but welcome, welcome. Once this stuff loads up, we should be pretty good. That's right, M as the Beastmaster. You nom nom on those on those units. It's actually just a good play here, though, from EIS and OG backing up a bit outside of the bear radius uh, if they just don't want to end up fighting it inside. And again, attacking from distance is fine if they just want the bear cooldown just to run out. Especially if there's, especially if they don't have enough DPS to basically burst it down. Then, uh, again, I, I think this is an okay play. Right? Usually it's, I mean, if you have enough DPS inside... Uh, it can it can be beneficial to just stay in, like you know we saw that uh, with a few of the groups already uh, that have that have done similar actions. Yo, Jake Easy's in chat. What's up? Yeah, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I know. Wanted wanted to try and get us going about an hour ago, but I uh, had to hang out with the fam for a visit, and so just getting just getting a little bit of time now. My daughter. Yeah, you can leave the door open though. <laughs> yeah, let's see, because again, there's two battlefronts happening right now in SS22. 
Then we got. Oh, I have up here again. Yes, yeah. so it's SK. I think yellow's VVV. And then we have SK2 and Tribe. So Tribe's doing the front here. And then it's SK1, and they're basically fighting over here on this one. Oh, nice. Here we go. So it looks like LSK is pushing. Okay, yeah. Let's watch this ramp fight real quick. Uh, for uh, for a visit, which basically just means a little bit. Yeah, remember important. I think Fake is trying to get their CF down too, right? They are. They got an hour fifty six left on that bad boy. Lots and lots of people in VCs, though, that I can see right now from many. I think TSS has about 51. And there's Ancients has 15. GG's got 13 in theirs right now from what we can see. Yeah, man, Alliance Discords are popping. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I need to ask. I think I just got into the EIS Discord, which is pretty cool. I need to ask someone if they're handing out access, though, because <laughs> I don't, I don't know if they are. So LSK, Faye getting pushed off the ramp there. And that's one of the challenges, like we talk about often, right? You don't want to just sit there on the ramp. You want to make sure that... You're, you're being decisive, right? You're either playing the long poke game, uh, potentially with or without use of flying, and or you're trying to push up the ramp and through. All right, very similar to what we ended up seeing yesterday for TFSFS when they were battling it out against uh, Nawar Don Dusk, and they ended up pushing over the bridge and then immediately uh, split off, right? They didn't just kind of sit there. I mean, for a little bit it was, but that was just in the beginning. Uh, for the bulk of the fight, right, they were able to push beyond the bridge and basically find open space. Uh, that ended up helping them out a lot uh, in that position compared to if they just would have sat there and kind of grinded the slugfest out. <laughs> Fake crazy Bob. <laughs> That's so good. Yo, man, where is Bob? Where's Bob when I need him right now? That That is too funny. That's, that's, that, I, I should take a screenshot and send that. I'd be like, yo, Bob, dude, I found you. I found you. <laughs> or sorry, I found your alt. That's what I should tell him, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll switch this and go to the other front here in a sec. Because this one looks like it. A little low. Doesn't look like they're doing anything. I wonder if there's any uh, PvP going on over here. See, that's the thing that I, I, I was, I was sh a little shocked about. Is I didn't see... I didn't see... Like, they're not building here. That's one of the things that, that kind of shocked me a bit. Was uh, that they opted to not build around the pass here. Or, sorry, around the plateau. Where you see Tribe, right? So Tribe opted to not... Like, they could go here on the ramp and build over here to connect to Fake 2 as well. I mean, I, I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, they're basically doing the same thing by... Uh, uh, by being able to connect to that ramp. It, it just, just a thought, you know, if you wanted to kind of branch out, I guess, on that side. Let's go see. They're still going at it over here. They're 
they're just waiting. They're waiting to pounce. My daughter wants a gumball machine. Killing me. Killing me on that one. That's funny. Alright, where's our goodies now? Okay, I don't know where... Are we going to see... Oh, 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 did somebody just TV in? That's back. So it doesn't look like anything's really popping off right there. Maybe we can go back to the ramp. Okay, so they're still fighting. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll watch a little bit more. There's not too much here, but I at least just want to get a little bit of stuff. And then we're going to go and check out... Uh, I think we'll go check out another one here in a sec. Promo in game. Ooh, can I zoom out one more? Ooh, nice. We can. All right, let's go. Let me come back on chat. Do, do my daughter come? Oh man, I'm telling you, man, I feel she's like a ninja. Uh, Jason Dustin, what's up? Welcome, Justin. Jason regroup. Straight for X. What's up? Yes, yeah, love. Yeah, man. You know, just trying to show some love. Ramudu Senpai, what's up? Welcome. Hit that like button, y'all. Remember, that's our only our only ask on, on entry fee. Yo, Adrian. What's up? After playing almost four seasons, I finally have 200k inventory. Dude, congrats. Congratulations. You've done it. You are the winner. What have you won? One full march. <laughs> or, or sorry, I guess almost. Almost, almost a full. Oh, sorry. I guess maybe. I guess not, I, technically not really, right? You're... Two thirds. You, you've you've won two thirds of one march for infantry. Uh, so awesome. Put that work in. Ooh, they're going at it. Nice. Okay. Cool. 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 Here we go. Here we go. See, we weren't too far off. Nice. Okay. We'll, we'll watch this. Whenever this little mini fight uh, ends, then we'll go and we're gonna go check out another group. And hopefully, while that's happening, it'll give me enough time to finish getting my promo messages out uh, on my scouts. Right? So solid, solid stuff here. All right, look at that. Nine likes, almost a ten. And I mean, to be fair, I will say this, man. I'm shocked that we did that we did good uh, yesterday, right? We, we peaked at 115 viewers, which was so cool, man. So I, I can't tell you how awesome it was to see that many people hanging out, enjoying watching some KBK call of dragons for final zones in these season two plus kingdoms i mean it was absolutely a blast that we had and uh, again uh, you know a good showing i felt from tfs and fs it felt like the pvp was 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 better and had improved from previous seasons just in the level of coordination we talked about it yesterday but it it definitely gave me kind of very gg vibes which was awesome to see uh, and again, right, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, you know, there was a few moments that I liked from Dawn and Dusk uh, and the war coordinating a bit more. It felt like it, it happened a little bit more in that second and third run than it did on the first one. That was rough. This actually isn't bad, though, for EIS and OG. A little spread here. I like the VVV uh, push here. Notice how they're spreading as well, right? Really making sure they're trying to go wide. This isn't that bad. A little cluster right here. Uh, and again, sometimes that can happen if you're not keeping your formation tight when you're pushing, whether you're engaging or disengaging. And and that's important, right? Always making sure that you're trying to have constant spread. Again, that's where the micro comes in, right? Making sure you're really paying attention to that in real time. But this isn't bad for, for them, even on the OG. I mean, this looks a little discombobulated, but that's probably because some of them are pushing back. Yo, shout out to our boy J Derb. J Derb was one of our, uh, I think he was the number one strongest player in our 65 project for a little while. Uh, but all around good guy, I had an opportunity to talk to him once. Uh, and a uh, good family man, good family man. Yeah, right. Ne never use speed ups on infantry. Just kill him. What's up? Diablo, what's up? Welcome. TFS fam, that's right. Shout outs. Bundle B, what's up? 
Yo, our boy Jay Geezy coming in with the first dono, man, for the 10 dueler. Support my boy BN out here. Can we get some hearts in the chat for our for my boy Jay Geezy? Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the love. One of these days, I'm, I'm going to get these custom emojis done. <laughs> I promise. And when I do, it's going to be glorious. So, yeah. Yeah, what's funny is I have two people that I've reached out to asking about it. And and they both told me, they both told me, they're like, yeah, I can work on it. You know, we'll, we'll get you some mock-ups. I was like, oh, yeah, no rush, no rush. We can go back and forth, right? I said, here's my idea on some. And, you know, it's just kind of a waiting game at this point. So, uh, we'll see. I'm, I, you know, if, if I need to put out maybe an announcement or something. And if someone has any experience doing that stuff. Uh, you know, or maybe it can get done a little quicker. I, sometimes it just depends on, you know, kind of what everyone always has going on at that time, right? That's always just important to acknowledge, you know. Even if people say they can do it, sometimes things come up and things can get delayed or, or just kind of take longer than intended. But VVV and SK1 now applying some pressure here on EISOG, pushing them back a little bit more. Oh, interesting. Will they be able to push them all the way back to this flag and start killing some builders? Because they're going, they're actually going on territory now, right? So this is SK1 territory, so they're pushing off territory in. This is very reminiscent of the TFS FS pushing onto the Noor territory that we ended up seeing yesterday. And now VVV and SK1 making a decent push. Again, activity numbers wise, this is, uh, I mean, not maybe as much as you'd like to have pushing this deep into territory. But momentum is on their side. And they're pushing deep right now. And if they end up getting to the flag and killing off some builders, I would say it's a pretty successful push. Especially if they walk away keeping the majority of their uh, group or battalion here intact. But now, it, now you're seeing the momentum maybe switch a little bit right now. VVV playing a little bit more cautious. Some units pushing back. Some of the OG EAS players pushing up here. And you can see what was a stalemate of them pushing up is now almost turning into a counter push. Or at least giving you some early signs that it could be. VVV... Players still pushing back a little bit right now. It almost feels like this was a missed opportunity where they could have stabilized, pushed a little bit more forward, uh, and, and then just see how EIS and OG were going to react. Because, again, you saw that there was good momentum with them pushing up, but it felt like they stopped a little bit right here. And then, as far as kind of like this marquee Soma Milk right line, and, and just kind of give an, ex an example, right? So they stopped about here. And uh, give or take, and then you saw that the moment they kind of stopped and there wasn't a, as much uh, aggression going forward, then OG and EIS kind of stopped here, and now you're just kind of seeing them pushing back up, right? And and that's basically what's happening right now. Again, it, it looked like, it, again, they still have decent numbers, but it felt like maybe they could have moved forward a little bit more there before just kind of stopping at that point. OG throwing out the behemoth, trying to push some of the units away. Now, this is the thing we talk about, right? If you're going to summon the behemoth, that's when you need to counter push, right? Look how deep they are in the behemoth's radius and how, and how farther they have to go to get out. This is where if you are, if you're EIS, or excuse me, my bad, this is SK1. Yeah, so they're pushing. This is still their territory. I'm tripping, right? Am I, am I not tripping? Hang on. Let's, let's double check. No, no, it is SK. Never mind. So, so never mind. I did miss. I did miss uh, misspeak. Then I thought they were pushing into their territory. They're still on their territory. <laughs> uh, their territory by meaning OGAS's territory, but it's not. I just didn't zoom out of the way to see the color difference, or maybe I just didn't notice. But yeah, but in this case, if they're if they have the behemoth on their territory, I'm okay with EIS and OG playing a little bit more aggressive here, just because they have to fight the giant within. Uh, oops. Let me see what, yeah. what is it? What is it, killers? Yeah. You guys, I have my faithful companion here to join me. Yeah, man. But no, hey, 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 this is some good action, though. EIS engine. You know, anytime I see engine, I always think Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, right? Like engine from Jurassic Park. But looks like running a archer rally. Just have to see where that's going, and and are they going to go deep and then remove something to maybe keep track of? Uh, Fresh Ninja though on the Frost Giant, not really getting bursted down that much. Again, 
some of these players back here need to push up. This is once again like we talk about. You have to think of you have to think of the behemoth like a, like a tank that's giving you some CC, right? Or just heavier heavy intended pressure, right? And that's one of the ways to look at how you can utilize a behemoth where you're pushing up with it, right? That's not really being done as well as it could be right now for EIS and OG. I think, a, a, once again, a little missed opportunity there. I mean, again, still keeping pressure, but it's just one of those things I'd like to see. Like, if you have the behemoth here, right? I'd like to see something like this. I'd like to see them do something like this, right? And then just, bam, apply pressure, right? Form a line, scoot up a little bit more, utilize the behemoth, right, to the fullest extent. Because if you see what's happening, look at the separation here. The, the, the VVV and SK1 are just focusing the behemoth. This is where you go in and you focus them. Like, that is one of the best ways to utilize a behemoth. Right? Even if you're pushing enough, you have enough activity here to at least push up enough to start focusing on the outliers. Right? Like, Chiyu, this player right there, right? Could have attacked him. Chaotic could have attacked that player, right? Overextending. Look for the outliers, the individuals that are on the outskirts, and you just focus fire them down one by one, or you look for groups, right? Two, three, four, five, or more. Uh, and again, obviously, if you have more numbers, it helps, but I mean, you can see there's a number of players over here that are AFK that are not engaging in the fight, and they have opportunities too. So, I mean, a, a little rough to see. Right? Because it's there, man. It's there for the taking. Bundleby. Spend all uh, Bundleby, spend all my retirement on bundles. <laughs> yeah, you good, man. Just gonna thank you. Thank you, Jason. Big Boomer, what's up, man? Hey BN, have you seen L and V and GD yet? Um yeah, we, we might go check them out yet. If if there is a group that's popping more than another one, uh just let me know. Also, two likes away from 15. We can do it. We can do it. I believe in you guys. Alright, remember that's the only thing we ask. Our only entry fee ask is just hit us with a like. But yeah, if, if there's a group that's popping a lot, uh, then then let me know. Again, I imagine TFS No War has to be, and I'll, I'm going to check once I get through my promo messages in game um, as well. But if there's uh, if there's any other groups that are popping, because like I said, I'd like to try and maybe end with TFS No War and SS23. I mean, unless it's really ripping and there's just nothing else that's ripping, then okay. But, you know, like I said, man, I am a diverse soul. I like to show off love to as many human beings as possible. What can I say? I'm a giver. Yeah, let's keep it PG for the kids. Just wild that this giant is still up, though. And again, you can see, like, the condension here. From EIS OG2 as well, right? This is where now you want to really just try and spread out. Utilize. Because the thing is, the deeper you push in here, you, you have to contest with the river or the shoreline and then the mountain as well, right? So you're you're kind of thinning out your choke and then how wide you can spread uh, in, in this case. And I don't know if they're running flying divisions or anything like that or have, you know, like dedicated flying groups. So, I mean, that would be something to potentially look out for. Huh? Sorry, I something mm, It's okay, sir. It's okay, sir. Okay. Did Mario talk to you? Yes. Okay. okay. I didn't mean to. No, I'm not. I just didn't mean to say that. No, I know. Well, thank you so much for your apology. I really appreciate it, okay? Yeah, you know, you know, Daddy's always going to love you, right? I'm sorry, Sister. I love you. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I, I hurt you really. Well, I appreciate you saying that and you recognizing that. Okay, give me a blessing. I love you more than anything. Yeah, give me both my best. My best. Mm, okay, go. Love you. All right. Still jamming it out. Ooh, I already, I already did something here. Let's see. 14. Okay, cool. Okay, how long How long we've we been here? We've been here all about 25 minutes so far. But uh, it's probably more like 15, 20. Really, that we've been seeing some more consistent PvP going on. Oh my gosh, two likes away from 20. We can do it. 40 plus viewers. That's what I'd like to see, ladies and gents. Remember, tell your wife, tell your friends, tell your kids, tell your nephews, tell your cousins twice removed. Really, just anyone that you have access to, you should just tell them to be here. It's really the only place to be, let's be honest.
also i will take recommendations on where to go next as well so if it's like i said if it's really if it's really really popping off somewhere let me know i want to see what's going on in the ramp though are they are they still jamming it out over here they're not okay so nothing's really going on on the ramp so we'll just we'll go back and watch a little more of this Ooh, this is nice. I think I was able to zoom out a little bit more here. Sweet. I'm telling you, I really wish that they do that at some point where they allow for us to zoom out a lot more. You guys know how I feel about this. I've said it multiple times. But like I wish I could I wish I could zoom out one or two more clicks and I could still see the field. Right? Like this is nice right now when you look at it like this, right? This is okay. But if I could go one or two more clicks, that'd be dope. Do people feel that? You guys down with that? Uh, hey, Bian, have you seen? El oh no, you already. Uh, sorry, Boone here. Straight for what's up? We've been on. We've been on since pass opened. Nonstop EAS side. Yeah, man. Oh, look at this VVV SK1 coming back now, pushing EIS OG a little farther back. Now being able to go ahead and start tearing up those builders. Looks like almost done there, if not just about. And this isn't bad. Now remember, sometimes the best play really is to try and just focus the pvp units and then once you feel like you've pushed them back far enough start attacking the builders or you have a, a small group attacking builders while you have the other ones focusing the pvp units because the one thing you don't necessarily want to do is get caught out especially if they have a lot of builders there and and they're not they don't really have a heads up on moving them if the players that are building are not moving the units you don't want to put, get put in a situation, which sometimes could happen, where you basically get caught focusing the builders, and then they're focusing you on the PvP side. Oh, okay. We have done all we can. Okay, let me, let me go see what's going on now. I'm going to look on my second account and take a look out there in the ether. Uh, for what's cracking. Okay, yeah, let's see what's going on with TA and GG and Five because I don't think we've watched them. I don't know if we've I don't know if we've watched them yet. So let me see what we got here. TA and this has to be. Oh, geez, they're going in right now. Oh, wow. Dude, this is a nice brawl, though, that we're getting here between VVVSK1 OGAS. I'm all for it. Only thing I maybe would have liked to see is if they had some flyer units to maybe, you know, look at some flanks. You know, something, something maybe to that degree. Yeah. 18. Not bad. Nye, fine. What's up? Welcome. EIS is is the only oh, oh, only that gets turrets down here. Big boom. But I wouldn't say LNV and GD is going crazy since it seems they already won. Yeah, I, I, I'd have to look. Mr. Payne, what's up? Welcome. I see you peeking. Staring is caring. Footless Borg. Oh, oh were you saying that uh, when my daughter came in? Yeah. I know that. I know they're too cute. John O. SK Downtime. Uh, we will be back. Don't get too excited. Yes, ladies and gents. All right. Oh is, oh, is that what it was? Man, I, I've only looked a little bit on... on Which is funny, right? Because that's the group I'm in. Which is the S2... Uh, excuse me, which is... Uh, where is it? S210? SS210? Which is uh, GD, LNV. And they're going up against... Oh gosh, why am I forgetting names now? Mm, where's my list? Do, 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 do. Uh, sorry, LNV, GD, FSKG, they're going up against NXS, RXS, and Ace Quickly C. It's about a one bill differential. Oh, also, I went through and I ended up capping all of the, for those of you that are curious, I went through and I capped, or I collected the data on what the Alliance merit points were earlier today. So we'll be able to kind of compare what those gains are going forward. I also took down like what the power levels were for the alliances. So we got power level for alliances and we have a merits, alliance merits as well that I captured uh, from yesterday to this morning. 
So it'll be cool to see how that looks a week from now, right? Like, what like what are the plus minus gains? Uh, well, I guess not really. Well, yeah, I guess potential minus gains on power, but really only plus gains on merits. <laughs> yeah, no, it should be good. Flick says BNB won lol. Oh, okay, okay. We'll see. Yeah, so GG's fighting right now. I don't know if they're fighting multiple fronts. I mean, that's the one thing, man. It's, it's rough that it's essentially... <sighs> yeah, it's, it's basically like a 3v6 over there. Yeah, I mean, they're they're practically fighting on two fronts. Yeah. Yeah, they are. It's wild, man. Like, they're getting pressured from the south and the north. Yeah, I mean, it's, I, I, it's, yeah, it's rough. The, the thing I'll say there is that it would have been nice to see how, it, to see, like, a more straight-up fight. But, I mean, again, it is what it is, right? You know, I think, and, and we'll show you that off. I think really what, and, and I'm going to tell you, I recommended, when I was talking with the GG guys in VC one day, I recommended them doing something. And we'll still see how everything goes. But it looks like they're still pressuring from the south a bit in their zone three. Yo, OG summon in the bear. They're like, dude, guys, let's just use all the payments now. They're not going to know. They're not going to use any. <laughs> Yo, we're at 20 likes. I love it. Five more to 25. We can do it. Remember, that is our only ask of you for your entry fee uh, to watching this free stream, right? I mean, it's basically no entry fee. But that's why the thing we ask is just hit us with a thumbs up. Show and spread the love. Remember, tell your wife, tell your kids, tell your friends. It's a good show. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, yes, OG doing a little push now. Hopefully, they're going to use some momentum here from the bear. Right? And again, still being sure we need to spread out along the row. Right? We don't just want to kind of group. Right? You see this You see this forming right here? Let's use blue. Is blue better? Okay, I think blue is a better color here. So, we don't want this to happen. Right? You want to spread out in an arc. Right? Always think about arcing. Right? Kind of having a, a moon, if you will. A crescent moon. That's really what you're hoping for. And then eventually, if you can get here, then you can spread out even more, right? And then you're using the bear and that momentum that you're building up to apply that pressure, right? Use the bear in that way, right? Go either for, maybe not for the outliers, but maybe bear really, if you're like looking at groups and bundles is ideal. Even the bear hit, hitting these builders, that actually isn't a bad thing. If the bear is able to hit these builders, that could be something and then that way, that would take pre that may, that may force more pressure from. Oh, never mind. He going crazy out there, but it may also take some uh, units away from the field. Daddy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'll hold that. I think somebody had scissors. <laughs> uh, Said, what's up? Welcome. Twenty-five done. What, what, what's what's twenty-five? Uh, Cooked, what's up? LSK is pushing ramp right now. Oh, okay. Oh, they are? Are they oh, oh, they're pushing the ramp right now? Let's see. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Push that ramp. Well, I mean, maybe they were. Okay, I, I see. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they got giant on the ramp. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I don't know if they're pushing all the way up, though. I don't look, it looks like a few. It looks like it's... I think, once again, remember what we talk about. If you're going to summon Behemoth, you need to push and support the Behemoth. Right? Don't just burn the Behemoth for no reason. Right? Use the Behemoth with purpose. I mean, look at... I mean, you have good activity here. This isn't bad. But they're just not supporting the Behemoth push. I mean, with this amount of people that LSK has, they probably could at least do something. Uh, the numbers either match or are a little bit more in their favor. Again, depending on the power players that are out there. But I mean, ah, yeah, it's a little rough. So I, I really would have liked to see them push up the ramp, though. I think I think that could have been better. Uh, just a better play for them overall. Okay. So EIS OG pushing up a little bit more now. And dude, that's the thing. Is, oh, is the bear hitting it now? Look, that's what, look, what did I say? What did I say? The bear should have went for the builders. Bam. There you go. And then what happened? Bear goes for the builders and what happens? What, 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 what does, what do, what did I say? They pushed off and, and disengaged a bit. But again, missed opportunity here. 
from EIS and OG. This is where you push, right? Look at look at all these people that are that are like back. Like, what are we doing? Th that's I, I'm. That's what I'm wondering, right? Unless unless those units and legions are low, like man, utilize that opportunity that you're being given. But that's where the coordination comes in, right? This is what we talk about, where you want to make sure that you're really paying attention to what's happening. I mean, again, if you look at situations like with, uh, and, and bear in mind, I, I know that a number of people from EIS and the, their alliances or their allies are in or should be in VC because I, uh, because I think they're using the EIS Discord right now to communicate. So I imagine multiple players from different alliances are there, very similar to the FST or the TFSFS situation, right? Where you have multiple, uh, where you have multiple alliances that are in the FS Discord or TFS Discord, and they're all communicating. So, but that's my thing, though. Is like, man, look, you have this bear. Bear's putting in work. I mean, cooldown's probably getting close at this point, but again, they're spread out, right? They're scattered. That's a better word to use. And you have good activity on the field, but it's just like, wh like, what are we doing here? You know, like, you. I mean, again, maybe some people are AFK. Maybe they went to the movies or something. They just left their units out. Like, what is going on? And like, and to me, that's the part that just kind of hurts a little bit is that there's opportunity here for EIS and OG. But ah, it's rough. It's rough. I mean, I want to see the goods, man. I want to see the goods on both sides. Ah, uh, yeah. Two more likes to 30. We can do it. I believe in you all. Uh, <laughs> Abdulaziz, if I said that right. If I spent around $400 on an account, though I left it for ages, it has a good Lilia and good Velen. Would you suggest continuing on it or starting over? I mean, to be honest, I think I think if you spent money on an account and you're... Because typically, if you're going to restart an account, honestly, the only reason you would really restart an account is if... Uh, is if maybe there's just no active alliances in your kingdom and you're not at least able to fill up one full alliance. Uh, if you want to play with friends, if you're joining kind of a restart project as an example. But otherwise, I would probably just continue playing your account if you don't have any outside attachment uh, or outside reasons or justification for doing so. Cooked. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, you said they were, they got wiped. Oh, okay, okay, I, I probably saw it. I probably saw it late then. Aguita, what's up? Hey, hey. Hound of Glory, what's up? TA has been, uh, TA has been trading very poorly. Oh, really? I had a look. Oh, wow, EST, they were with me uh, last season. Oh, you said EIS or ETS? Okay. I think you mean EIS, but yeah. Static, what's up? Welcome. Uh, Hound of Glory says they don't have a single player in top 10 anymore. Really? Okay, I'd have to look. I mean, I imagine, I imagine just because of all the fighting that's been going on there too as well. Dude, is it just me? Or has this bear lasted forever? Is Didn't they have timers on the behemoths? Don't they only last for like 10 minutes or am I tripping on this? Right? I, I swear that the behemoths had a time limit. Maybe this hasn't been that long and I just think it's been long right it's it's probably more of a me issue at this point 32 likes man you guys are killing it right now three away from 35 welcome welcome for those joining remember our only ask for you as an entry fee is just hit the thumbs up show some love and if you don't have any love to give i do i'll lend you some love you can vicariously reach to the thumbs up button <laughs> no that's it we're, we're going too deep with it now <laughs> Behemoth's too tanky this season. <laughs> Just don't die on the field. Right? Not bad. Ooh. Hang on. I gotta see what's going on. Because there's... TM's there. They got some GGP, but I think they're still fighting the main one over here in... Yeah, I think this is going to be a little rough, though, here, man. I think they're pushing right now. Oh, no, they're not. So, they're somewhat good over here, I guess. But they are getting pushed on the north side. Oh, no, they're not. Are they? Let me see. Oh, I guess they're still fighting. Wow. Oh, wow. Jeez, GG was pushing them a little bit. Okay. Yeah, we might need to go take a look at this in a sec. Where am I at right now? I'm at 40 minutes. Okay. 
So I think that's what we're going to try and do. Like, unless it's really hard popping, I think we're going to try to, like, do 30, 40 minutes per, per division if there's PvP going on.